Liberals are letting their hypocrisy show again. Republicans asked Supreme Court nominee Ketanji Brown Jackson a lot of tough questions during her confirmation hearing last week. In your view, it's more of a deterrent to have somebody substantially supervised in terms of their computer use who's looking at child pornography than it is to put them in jail. Senator, I'm not saying it's more or That's less. That's exactly what you're saying. What, what? Do you think that these, that these laws are too tough, that we're too tough on sex offenders? It was about the characterization of legislation. Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. And on cue, Democrat Senator Cory Booker was just absolutely outraged. He's slamming Republicans for their behavior. She was bringing me uh, uh, a lot of emotion during the whole hearing. I mean, she, under sort of the most outrageous of attacks, uh, she was showing who she is. I guess sober Spartacus, or Cory Booker, has some amnesia from his own behavior during the confirmation hearings of now Justice Brett Kavanaugh. All right, uh, <laughs> we've got some tape on this. But first, Jackie, I want to go to you. Um, I watched these hearings. Did they attack her character? Can you tell me why these uh, hearings have been so insufferable for him? They didn't attack her character. They're getting attacked for asking difficult <laughs> questions. And when you look at other hearings, for example, where the shoe is on the other foot, the Democrats do the same thing to uh, a, you know a, a candidate for the Supreme Court um, that was appointed by a Republican president. We've seen this time and time again. But when it comes to Cory Booker's uh, hypocrisy, how he's looking at this, I really look at Cory Booker himself, and I'll tell you a quick anecdote. I went to law school in Newark, New Jersey, when Cory Booker was mayor, and he put some superficial band-aids on a very violent, very corrupt city, but deep down at its core, he did nothing, and it still was extremely dangerous. Every day I went there, I mean, literally thought I was taking my life in my hands. When he was elected to the <laughs> New Jersey State Senate, I just, my mind was blown. I couldn't believe it. I said, who voted for this guy? I don't really think they knew who he was. So when I see him sitting there um, and, and, and giving his commentary, being a hypocrite in the political theater, I have to laugh a little bit because he also gave our commencement speech at law school and it was the most uninspiring boring long um, tedious speech <laughs> I had ever heard in my life um, and so I, I look at him and I say well this is where it's coming from so okay well on this topic of what might be a hypocritical Cory Booker we've got some sound on tape of him uh, expressing his outrage from this hearing what we saw though this week was uh, to me uh, outrageous and uh, beyond the pale uh, and very different than what I've witnessed in my uh, short time in the Senate. Hmm. But Spartacus, especially sober Spartacus, had different <laughs> words not that long ago, just a few years ago. Let's hear him questioning uh, Brett Kavanaugh here. Judge Kavanaugh, um, you drank on weekdays as well in high school, not just weekends. Is that on correct? weekdays? In other words, that, that July 1st reference to skis, went over for skis, that's through skis, correct? And after Tobin, sir, sir, I just need a yes or no. That brewski's right. So you were not as uh, sloppy drunk, and so your roommate was lying. You talked about drinking and sexual exploits, did you not? <laughs> so what I love about this is as they're <laughs> questioning him, Katie, um, he's looking at his journal from high school to answer their questions. Like, yeah, you know, Billy was here that day. How do they have this type of hypocrisy in front of everyone? And when you look at how um, the, Brown Jackson was questioned compared to, uh, compared to Kavanaugh. Well, I had to take some deep breaths with those flashbacks of the Kavanaugh <laughs> hearings, so I don't say words that we're not allowed to say on television. Uh, but the, the, the idea that Cory Booker would say that the Jackson hearings were worse than anything he's ever seen in the Senate really shows where the priorities are for Democrats. Republicans this week asked Judge Jackson very specific pointed questions about her judicial record when it came to sentencing child pornographers. She is going to 
likely be on the Supreme Court of the United States. Her judicial record is what matters. But instead, on the other hand, with Brett Kavanaugh, Democrats asked him questions about uh, what kind of beer he drank, what the term boofing meant. They also put false allegations <laughs> of gang rape into the congressional record, which were given to them by Michael Avenatti, who is currently in prison for extorting Nike or attempting to extort Nike out of millions of dollars. And while the media was very focused on Brett Kavanaugh's calendar from high school, uh, they weren't focused on what came out after those hearings and after he was confirmed. There was a 600-page Senate Judiciary Committee report that came out showing that not only were none of these allegations that they slapped into the record after the confirmation hearings were initially over uh, not true, but that a number of people who had lied to investigators were referred to the Department of Justice for criminal prosecution. And yet the media didn't talk about that at all in the aftermath of the Kavanaugh hearing. So it just shows that Cory Booker and Democrats like him are very dishonest when it comes not only to just Supreme Court nominations, but about the way that Judge Jackson was treated and the way that Judge Kavanaugh was treated at the time of his confirmation hearing. Listen, Leo, we're going we're gonna to get a very liberal progressive justice on the Supreme Court, it looks like, and that, that's a part of this political game we play now. But just to focus back on Kavanaugh, it wasn't just Cory Booker that was, uh, that was upset about the brewskis. We had some Democrat all-stars here on tape uh, not even wanting a, a hearing to happen. I welcome everyone to this confirmation hearing on the nomination of Mr. Judge Chairman. Brett Kavanaugh. Mr. Chairman. To serve as associate justice. Mr. Chairman, I'd like Supreme to be recognized for a United question States. before we proceed. Proud Mr. Chairman, if, if we cannot be recognized, I move to adjourn. The American people. Mr. Chairman, I move to adjourn. To directly from Judge Kavanaugh and later this afternoon. Mr. Chairman, I move to adjourn. <laughs> and that's what we dealt, that's what Republicans dealt with. And I just want to say, I for one, Leo, am so thankful that uh, Republicans brought passion about substance and not trying to attack this person's character looking at, uh, at voting yes or no on, on her Supreme Court confirmation. You're absolutely right. They brought consistency. They asked what Katie said, tough question. As a lawyer, I can appreciate the tough question. This woman, Justice Jackson, will be on the highest court in the country. She'll be making policy or interpreting the Constitution for over 300 million Americans. So to ask questions, to stay focused on what her judicial philosophy is, what she is going to bring to the Supreme Court, is critical. What makes this country great is that beautiful document called the Constitution. And we want a justice to interpret the Constitution, hopefully in its original form, and hopefully to interpret it without a political agenda. And that's what these Republicans did, and I applaud them for it. Unfortunately, I cannot applaud the Democrats who treated Justice Kavanaugh in such a disre disrespectful manner. You know, we all want to forget how that went down, but I think it's important we don't. And I think it's important we show the juxtaposition, and, uh, and that's just where we are. Republicans, we're going to take a loss either way, uh, and uh, this is a better loss. So it's one with honor. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.